Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for July 14th, 2008. NASDAQ on the 10-day chart appears to have gotten a Wave 4 and gotten a Wave 5 down. And at the close on Friday, there's an unusual rally, that, a, big, a big spike up that um, dropped the VIX down from, from around 30 to around uh, 27. But I, I suspect that it was, um, not only was it the news about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, it was... Uh, Probably the the PPT, the Plunge Protection Team. I don't like to talk about them a lot, but uh, basically it involves uh, higher ups with buying up S and P futures contracts to boost the market up, and that's probably what happened. But right now the um, Nasdaq futures are up uh, about 20, and S and P futures are up about 13. So there's going to be a rally tomorrow, but it, it, depending on how how far it goes, there could be uh, a fade. To form a uh, final fifth wave down, but hey, I look. I like to see a nice big rally, but um, I think the fifth wave needs still needs to be completed. S and P five hundred on the chart on the ten day chart. This actually looks like an ending diagonal A B C D at the close on Friday. So any any drop below uh, uh, 1225, 1226 would. would be probably an e-wave down and any diagonal at best. The again the futures are up 13 in the in the S&P, so there's a good there's a good shot at, uh, at a big rally tomorrow. But the fifth wave down is pretty un unpredictable, so it's hard to say what happens at, at the open tomorrow because I'm expecting maybe a, a gap and a fade. But I'd like to see a big rally. That'd be nice because it I, I wouldn't call it bottom yet because I'm, I'm I'm still anticipating fifth wave down. Everything was like five waves down. It could be fifth wave down in the Dow also. Anyway, to summarize, Nasdaq got a four and got a five, but we got to see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very crucial day because the futures are up a lot, and uh, if it's a big rally, then there's a possibility of a short-term rally. That's a wrap.